So I was in the grocery store today. I was looking for a can, or I was looking for some tortilla chips because I'm gonna make some healthy nachos at my house. And as I was doing this, as I was kind of glancing through all the different types of nachos, I noticed this older guy to my left. He was in one of those like mechanical chairs. And I could tell he was like eyeing something. He was like, I could tell he had his eye on something. So I just offered him, hey man, what, you know, can I get you something, sir? He, as I suspected, was like, yeah. How about you hand me some of those, uh, some of that salsa, yada yada. We got to talking and I found myself in one of those situations where I was like, this man intensely triggered me. And I know you know what I'm talking about. When you get that like, he says something and it like, it like penetrates to your very core and it just like, oh, there's like this surge of like uh, defensiveness and this, this, these emotions like, oh, mother, you know, these really intense emotions. And in the past, this happens a lot when you're going through the awakening process. All it is, is a life reflecting to you some kind of inner conflict that needs resolution. And it's a, it really is a blessing because it's showing you something that you're harboring unconsciously that is not really you. It's not really aligned with your core self. It's part of your ego structure. And it's starting to kind of break apart. Um, so every time, you know, in the past, I used to like get really mad in these situations and I, I'd like project my feelings onto the person who happened to trigger me. And this is a disservice to myself because it's simply kind of missing the opportunity to look within. And that's what I did today. And it really made me realize how much I've changed because it, the, the feelings are very, very uncomfortable, are they not? They, they really are like, oh man, and you leave the situation, you're, you're, you're like, your aura's all tainted, it feels like, and you're thinking about it, what I should have said, what, it, what, what, what I'm gonna tell them next time, you know, all those types of thoughts. Um, I just wanted to share that with you because, again, these are blessings. This is kind of the point of this awakening process, to enlighten us, to bring to conscious awareness things that are unaligned with our core self. And only by becoming aware of it can we choose to stop uh, exhibiting behavior from this dysfunctional component to ourselves. We can see it and go, oh, this doesn't, I, me, my spirit does not think this, does not, need, there's no reason to be defensive or, or whatever the emotion that's triggered. Therefore, I'm going to, to move on and let this go. And oftentimes it can really have a profound uh, revelation upon like the source of why. Like for me, this man represented my parents. We were sitting there and we were talking and my wife was here and, and the, the, my kids came up and this guy was like, oh, you got such a beautiful family. You better be prepared. You better be prepared to do without the things you want to do, he said. So you, so you can really save, save all your money because you're going to need it for their education. And to me, that's what my parents would do. They had that real scarce, scarcity, old world, fear-based mindset. And uh, it, it just, it reminded me of my parents. And I, and I realized I felt this way all the time growing up. Every time I had like a glowing idea that just sprung from me naturally and organically, like oftentimes happens when you're kind of aligned with your spirit self, um, they would squash it. They would say, well, I don't know about that, you know? And I would, I would always be so angry with them. And now I realize because they were like stifling, they were like putting weight on my spirit saying, you can't, you better really watch yourself. So that's what it meant to me. It can mean, a, it, these triggering events can mean a million different things to a million different people. But the point is use them. Next time this happens and you know it's happening by the emotional charge you get. It's like an overwhelmingly palpable emotional charge that overwhelms, that just comes over you. and initially or oftentimes our first instinct is to say what the f what's this guy's problem no 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 what do i need to believe to feel this way in response to what he said that's it guys peace